our last from Wing Kenton is the Badger's Owl Trophy Handicap Chaser, three mile one furlong, all to one forty. It's worth sixty thousand pounds. So number one, Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Southern, the top weight bomber in the pocket for Leon Bram Rensburg, Puebla de Don Fadric for Darren Thompson, Taverner for David Ledd, Ryan. Mr. Peckworth, Amazing Yourself for Punchable Racing, Belga Hero Jew for James Shea, Drew Moore Hill for Ryan Costello, Private Benamin for Paul O'Neill, Serafina Cerise for Hems, News Reporter for Punchable Racing and Dobretz for Daniel French. Make up a big 12 here. Let's go over this 3 mile one firm. Let's straight into the first. It's a plain one. Go, no, we've lost one. Dobretz has gone. I'm lucky there. I think that was Daniel French's horse. Fall over the first. Never any fun. Being led by Serafina Cerise. We'll take it over the second. Serafina Cerise by a couple. It's amazing yourself a news reporter. Stable mates together. That wide is Bomber in the pocket as they get to the third. Poor jump at the rear. Hope Springs Eternal didn't get over that too well. Top weight here. Very detached himself just by a length and a half, but still plenty of racing here to, to be had. So they can make up from that mistake. But it's Serafina Cerise. Amazing yourself. Bomber in the pocket out wide. We've got a Ryan and Taverner on our way to News Reporter up against the fence. They get to the fourth. Everybody's over it. Another slow jump at the rear by Hope Springs Eternal. Winner last week. They'll need to jump a little bit better here at Wincanton to follow that one up. They go to the water. Everybody's over it. Bit of a better jump by Hope Springs Eternal. Trying more hill was a little bit slow towards the rear. So it's still two and a half miles to go and it's Serafina Cerise by a couple to Amazing Yourself on his own. And then Belga here at Jude. To James Shea. Couple back to Orion. It's the Fence News Report Porter. Puebla de Don Farric. Oh, we've lost one there. Belga here at Jude. Got into the fence a little bit too early. James Shea loses one there. Unlucky. So it's Serafina Cerise by length and a half to Amazing Yourself. Well, maybe half a length. They get to the eighth. These fences come thick and fast here. And they look to win the Badger's Owl Trophy Handicap Chase. But it's Serafina Cerise from Amazing Yourself. And these are three or four lengths away from Pueblo de Don Fadric and Orion. And they will get over the ninth. We still have another 14 fences to jump. It's still well over two miles to travel. Uh, the rear at the moment is a Dromore Hill. Just in front of him is Private Benamin. Tavern up. Out wide is Bomber in the pocket, which has slipped right back now. The one that's moved up well is Hope Springs Eternal. In the second chasing pack, along with Orion News Reporter. Amazing yourself. He's just dropping off the lead now. We get to the tenth. Everybody's over it. But it's still Serafina Cerise, happy to bowl along in front. It's by about three or four now to the chasing Amazing Yourself news reporter. Hope Springs Eternal moves comfortably up on the inside route. And Ryan's got himself a little bit blocked in there. Whether the Don Fadric is still there to get to the 11th. The leader got over that a little bit slow. And his lead's now down to just half a length from Hope Springs Eternal, moving ominously up on his, on his quarters. Uh, half a length away from Amazing Yourself and Pueblo de Don Fadric as we get to the 12th. The leader's all over it comfortably. Ryan's still not got a lot of room there as we're going to go past the grandstand. Blue silk white cap. And to the 13th. Oh, it was a poor jump there by Pueblo de Don Fadric. Big mistake. And he struck, shuffled his way all the way down towards the rear of the pack. Moving a little bit better now on the outside. He's Bomber in the pocket for Leon Van Rensburg. 14th, Serafina Cerise, and he's outside Hope Springs Eternal. And a line of horses. A loose horse in amongst those. Oh, poor jump there by Dromore here. Went through the top of it. Lucky the jockey's still in his saddle there for Ryan Costello. But it's Serafina Cerise for Hems. Leads them over the water. And they're still nine from home. And still just well over a mile. And Serafina Cerise from Hope Springs Eternal. Followed by a group of horses, which includes everybody but Dromore Hill. We go to the 16th. Better jumps there by Taverner of all. Big, big bold jump. Moves himself up into a challenge for second place now. But we've still got a loose horse there, which might cause a few problems towards the end. The one that hasn't done particularly well now is Pueblo de Don Fadric. Made a mistake and he shuffled right back, but he's sitting against the fence, a couple of lengths off the chasing pack. But it's still Serafina Cerise that leads over the 18th, five from home. Get over it well. 
A little bit slower with his jumping, moving well on the outside. His bomber in the pocket. We've got Hope Springs Eternal pushing through. David Robinson's Taverner. Private Benjamin not got much of a mention. Orion still there. They go over the 19th. Always jumped it well. Purple of the Ron Fabric was slow again. But Serafina Cerise, jockey says go. Inside the six. Starts to push his horse along now. Off the bridle. It's Serafina Cerise. Moving comfortably on the outside. His bomber in the pocket. Starts to move over towards the fence now as we swing right handed shortly. Orion up against the fence. He's got a plum ride. The one that's got nowhere to go now. I think he's news reporter. The Graham Clutterbuck. But it's still Serafina Cerise still leading. But here comes Bomber in the pocket. Orion looks pretty here as we come down to half a mile from home. But it's Serafina Serafina Cerise, bomber in the pocket, Private Benjamin, move well out wide now and running on really well is amazing yourself from nowhere, Pueblo de Don Fadrique's picked up well again, but bomber in the pocket takes over the lead from Bo from Serafina Cerise, it's bomber in the pocket as they swing right handed with three furlongs to go, bomber in the pocket from Serafina Cerise, Pueblo de Don Fadrique gets over the 21st, jumps it well, amazing yourself is now moved up into second, so it's bomber in the pocket by about four from amazing yourself from Pueblo de Don Fadrique, Private Benjamin trying to run on, but we're only two to go and it's bomber in the pocket, it's over the penultimate, furlong and a half and it's bomber in the pocket, amazing yourself for Private Benjamin trying to run on Private, sorry, with, along with Taverner and Pueblo de Don Fadric. But Bomber in the pocket's got to get over the last. He does with a big slow jump. Amazing Yourself's going to pull alongside. We're inside the final half. Bomber in the pocket asks for a bit more. Amazing Yourself. It's going to be between those. Bomber in your pocket. Amazing Yourself. Is Amazing Yourself going to get up here? No, I think Bomber in your pocket. Amazing Yourself. Whoa, one, two. Could be a dead heat. I think they also lost a Ryan there. I missed that. He's been sitting pretty. He went on the last couple of fence there. We got up for this. I think Graham Clusterbuck's taken that. Yeah, amazing yourself on the first card. Looks like he's taken that from Bomber in the pocket and Private Benjamin run on well for third. So, yep, it's by a short head. Amazing yourself for Pontypool Race and takes the Badgers Owl Trophy Handicap Chase from Bomber in the pocket for Leon Rensberg. Third was Private Benjamin for Paul O'Neill. Fourth was Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Sutherland. And fifth was Tabner for David Ladd. We're off to Bangor.